Jerry at Fair Oaks. Are you here? Oh, aye, lad. Right here behind the counter. Who is it? Oh, oh, oh you, Jerry. Hello, Mac. What were you doing? Oh, just putting some ice cream away, lad. I... Putting it away. What do you mean? Well, I... I do run out of the stuff once in a while you can. Uh, yes, sir. You lads from Fair Oaks Military Academy do buy me out to uh, ice cream and soda pop once in a while. <laughs> you mean you were putting ice cream in that, uh, that container down there? Uh, that's it, yes, sir. Uh, you stuck the nail right on the head that you did. Well, I thought the man that delivers your ice cream always put it in for you. Well, yeah, he does when the pail is empty, Jerry, but sometimes I run out of the ice cream before he can arrive to change the pails for me. Oh, yeah, I see. <sighs> well, lad, what'll you hear the new? Oh, some chocolate ice cream, I guess. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough? Well, I, I, chocolate it is. <clears throat> you take the high road. And I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland. Uh, oh. <coughs> there you are, lady. Eat your fill. Thanks. You, you seem kind of quiet today, Mac. Quiet? I'm quiet. <laughs> oh, no, no, Jerry. It is you yourself who's quiet. Me? I, you. I thought to myself, McLeod... Jerry Dugan wishes to be alone with his own thoughts. So that's the way I left you, alone with your thoughts. <clears throat> when a man has something on his mind, something troubling him, you can, old Mac can figure it out for himself pretty clearly. It is then I leave you while I sing about the banks and braes of Bonnie Doon or the beauty of Loch Lomond. Eh? Uh, you, you, you winna be willing to make a clean breast of the entire matter and tell old Mac what's troubling you this day, Jerry? Troubling me? Mm. Oh, nothing's troubling me. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, uh, you'll pardon me whilst I get busy for the afternoon or rush again. Banks and braves. Bonnie Doon. Mac. Uh, hi, Jerry. Uh, come here a second, will you? Uh. Mac. Oh, come, come with you, the new Jerry lad. I ken there is a muck a lot of trouble heaping at sail in your heart. What's it all about? You can break down with McLeod. Mac. You know this ride and meet with Edson Military Institute that we're going into next Saturday? Oh, Edson, I, I, I can know about that affair, and I'll be there with colors flying. Well, Mac, I, I don't know whether I should ride in that meet or not. What? Why, 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 what's ailing you, Jerry? Why, certainly you're going to ride in that meet. Why, <laughs> the entire school is counting on you, I, uh, counting on you. Yeah, well, I'll accept Red Morrison. Red Morrison? What's he to do with the situation? And Bruce Dow Campbell. Br Oh, uh, I begin to recognize the symptoms. Uh, what is it, Jerry? What is it that these two have done to you? Oh, they haven't done anything to me yet. Yet? Yes, yet. Well, what do you mean? I mean, well, yesterday afternoon we had a practice polo game. Uh, uh, practice polo? Well, why didn't anyone tell me about that? I would have been there rooting for you, Jerry. Uh, you on the other side, too. <laughs> Wait a minute, Mac. This is serious. Oh, serious? Oh, hey, laddie, well, what's serious? Well, after the game, 
Lee heard Red telling Sergeant Alden that I wasn't as good a rider as Bruce Dow Campbell. Why is that? Wait a minute, Mac. Please let me tell you the whole story. If I don't get it all out at once, I, well, I might get stuck trying to tell you. Oh, I, I can't get it. Proceed. I, I wouldn't interrupt you again. Well, Lee told me about what Red said to Sergeant Alden, and then he told me that Red told the sergeant that Bruce Dow Campbell had told him, told Red, uh-huh. that Bruce would like to ride in the meet. And Red told the sergeant he thought that because Bruce was better, well, that he has better riding form, and because he's had more experience, he'd make a better pivot man on the team than I would. He did? Yes, and then... Then... I lied? Well, I lost my temper and started a fight with Bruce Dow Campbell. Oh, you didn't do that. Yeah, I did. Now, well, of course, I'm sorry I did, but... Uh, Well, there is something troubling me, Mac, and... I don't know what to do about it. Hi, lad. Well, what is it? Well, it's this. Maybe, maybe I'm not the best pivot man that Fair Oaks has. Maybe Bruce Dow Campbell would be a better pivot man on the team than I would. And maybe if I ride Splendor in the meet, we might lose to Edson. And then, then Mac Fair Oaks would lose the Hunter Craig trophy forever. Maybe just because I'm not as good as Bruce, Fair Oaks would ever have the chance of getting the trophy back. Well... All there is to it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can. Uh, well, Jerry, I, I didn't ken what old McLeod might be able to do for you, but uh, I man give you what advice I had in my mind. Advice? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Mac. What do you think? I knew you could help me. What do you think? Were I in your boots, lad, I would do this. Yeah? I would date a Sergeant Alden and suggest to him that the why... Uh, Please, Mac, I, I can't understand what you're saying. Oh, you? gosh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, whenever I get excited, I forget to, uh, to forget my scotch. Uh, what I mean is this, uh, and I'll be very, very careful to express it so you'll understand it, you mind. Yeah. Uh, I would go to the sergeant, and I would suggest to him that you and the Dow Campbell lad try out against each other for the position of pivot man on the riding team. You mean after I've been made pivot man? try out all over again against this new cadet? Aye, that's what I mean. But, well, what if I should lose? My, what if you do lose? But, Mac, I, I've written to Mr. Randall and Bumps and told him to tell all the folks at the circus that I was going to ride Splendor in the meet. And that, well, that I was going to be pivot man. Now, if Jerry, I'm not... Yeah? Mind what I say to you. What if you do lose? Who in the world are you writing for? Jerry Dugan or, or Fair Oaks Military Academy? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Mac. Okay, I'll go and see Sergeant Alden right away and tell him that I think I should have another tryout for the position of pivot man. And I'll tell him that maybe Bruce Dow Campbell would be a better pivot man than I would. Aye, uh, that's the spirit, lad. You'll... Oh, well, Lee Phillips in person. How are you, Lee? Oh, it's well, Mac. How are you? Oh, I couldn't have been better. No, no, I couldn't have been better. Hey, Jerry, where'd you disappear to? I looked all over for you after Professor Custis's ancient history class, and I couldn't uh, find you. Uh, well, no, Lee... Never mind, Mac. I'll tell Lee. Lee, I've decided maybe I'm not the best man for the pivot position on the riding team. Oh, now, wait a minute, Jerry. No, you wait a minute. I, I'm going to Sergeant Alden and tell him that I want to have another tryout. That maybe it might be a good idea to have Bruce Dow Campbell try out against me. If he's the best man, well, okay. Fair Oaks will have that much more chance to win the Hunter Craig Trophy for keeps, away from Edson. Oh, I see. Okay, you won't have long to wait. What do you mean? No, I mean that I just walked over here with Sergeant Alden. He's next door in Peter's hardware store picking up some harness buckles he ordered. I told him I was going to stop in here and try and find you. He said he'd drop in on his way back to the school. Mm, yeah, well, I guess I might as well do it now as any time. Oh, by the way, I stopped by the mailbox in Custis Hall and picked up this letter for you. A letter? Oh, gee, thanks, Lee. Uh, Mac, give huh? me a lemon and soda, will you please? I feel kind of warm. Oh, lemon soda, I... <laughs> Uh, right away, Lee. Lemon soda. Uh, oh, I lemon golly. Soda. Gee. Uh, what is it, Lee? What's the matter, Jerry? Well, th- this is a letter from Mr. Randall. Oh, yeah? And he says he and Bumps are going to come to Fair Oaks for the ride and meet with Edson. Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, well, no, that's fine. Aye, that's great, Jerry. Mr. Randall and your friend Bumps come into Fair Oaks to attend the ride and meet. Why, I... Like you're crazy. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, crazy. Lee, for gosh sake. Oh, I'm sorry, Mac. I mean, well, well, you know why Mr. Randall and Bumps are coming to Fair Oaks. It's to see Jerry ride Splendor in the meet. That's all the reason they're coming. 
And if Jerry doesn't ride splendid... Wait a well, minute, Lee. Mac's right. I know Mr. Randall and Bumps well enough to know that they wouldn't want me to ride Splendor unless I was the best man for the position. It's okay, Mac. Forget it. And Lee Phillips, you forget it, too. <laughs> Jerry Dugan. <laughs> that Irish twinkle in your eye gives you a uh, uh, It turns turtle on you and, and betrays you for the good spot you are. <laughs> well, that's all here, Triton McLeod. And I'll join you this time, I will. I... Oh, we'll, we'll know. Uh, Sergeant Alden. Hello, Mac. Hey. Long time no see. Well, hello, that's Sergeant. Right. Hello, Dave. <laughs> hello, Jerry. Well, what have you got here to quench the thirst, Mac? Oh, a thirst. Well, how about some uh, soda pop? Make it root beer. Root beer, I Root beer it is. Uh, did you get the buckle, Sergeant? Oh, oh, yes. Good ones, too. A little better than I expected, at the same price as the old ones. Yeah, that's, that's good. You, uh, you seem to be a little more quiet today than usual, Dugan. Uh, quiet? Uh, Jerry, quiet? <laughs> You're joking, Sergeant. Jerry Dugan's never quiet. <laughs> well, uh, there's your root beer, sir. I may it quench the thirst that's uh, troubling you. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Alden. Uh, yes, Jerry? I... Well, I've been thinking over the situation about the riding team. Mm, yes? I've been thinking maybe we'd better have some more tryouts for the position of pivot man. Oh, you think that, do you? Why? Well, this new cadet, Bruce Dow Campbell, maybe he might be a better man for that position than I am. Maybe you'd better have some more tryouts Jerry. so we can... Yes, sir? You want to ride Splendor, don't you? Golly, yeah. I mean, yes, sir. And you've worked hard for that position, haven't you? Yes, sir. And you rode in tryouts against other cadets, didn't you? Yes, sir. And those tryouts were held before cadet Dow Campbell arrived at Fair Oaks, weren't they? Yes, sir. And you're still riding a position of pivot man on the riding team, aren't you? Yes, sir. All right, and that's all there is to it. Next Saturday, no matter who arrives at Fair Oaks in the meantime, you're going to ride the position of pivot man on the team. And it'll be up to you whether or not Fair Oaks wins back the Hunter Craig trophy. Now, do you understand that, Dugan? Yes, sir. Good. Now, let's forget all about this discussion, except that Cadet Dugan is going to lead his team out there in that riding meet and win the trophy. Right? <laughs> right, sir. Good. Oh, Mac. Uh, yes, sir. I, I mean, I, Sergeant. <laughs> I'm afraid you gave yourself away that time, Mac. You're just an army man at heart. <laughs> oh, the telephone. Uh, excuse me. Go right ahead, Max. Uh, Sergeant Alden, Mr. Randall uh, from Jerry's Circus and Bumps, that's Jerry's friend, are coming down to Fair Oaks for the meet. They are? Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine, Jerry. I'm glad of it. Well, well, if I didn't occur that Mr. Linwell was in his wrecked mind, uh, I would think they knew he was a bit daft. Mac, what do you mean? Was that Mr. Linwell? Aye, aye, that was Harold's feather, and he said to tell you lads, you Jerry and you Lee, yeah? that Mr. X had arrived. Mr. X? Gee, Lee, he's come. Yeah, and that you two lads are to go over immediately to the basement of the gymnasium and see him opened up. Opened up? Golly! Thank <laughs> you.